16 News is sponsored by UAMS Health for a better state of health. Now, Fox 16 Sports. The Razorbacks lack in some areas, but where they don't is heart. It seems like these guys can climb out of any hole, no matter how deep. That scrap and claw mentality was on full display again on Saturday at Ole Miss. The Razorbacks couldn't start much uglier. They shot a woeful 27% from the field in the first half, putting only 27 on the board. The difference in the second half, night and day. The Hogs scored 49 points, erasing an 11-point deficit to earn a 76-72 road win. Isaiah Joe scored 26 in the second half alone, en route to a career-high 34. Comebacks are a trend with this team, but should fans be worried about these sluggish starts? Eric Musselman addressed the difference offensively from the first half to the second. You know, we go to our go-to scores more in the second half. Um, first half, there's a lot of play calls and stuff that are run where five guys are touching the ball and we have a little bit more movement um, than the last 10 minutes of the game. You know, we have specific sets with different wrinkles where we're, where we're actually, you know, dictating more, so to speak, who's, who's taking those shots or who has the ball in their hands to make decisions. The Hogs have played two of their last seven on the road. Now they return to the comfort of Bud Walton Arena for back-to-back -back games. Vanderbilt on Wednesday and Kentucky on Saturday. Yeah, we can't wait to get home. I mean, I, I, uh, I hope we have a great crowd Wednesday. I think that the team's effort has earned the respect of the state. Whatever we have to do, if we have to scratch it out, fight it out, whatever we can do to get a win, and we are able to do that tonight. After a road win, it's fun going back home. You know, you're going to have a big fan base, and there's going to be a lot of energy. And last time we were in there, it was rocking, and we hope it's rocking on Wednesday, and, and uh, we just got to get ready for Vanderbilt. Meanwhile, the Lady Razorbacks get back on track after their second loss of the year at the hands of number one, South Carolina. Arkansas beat Missouri 90-73 on Sunday, and they were led by Chelsea Dungy. The junior guard did it all for the Hogs, scoring 38, her season high. That's the most points scored by any Razorback this season. We definitely came to this game with a chip on our shoulder, and being able to uh, do what we did and perform in front of our home crowd, um, it was really fun. That was really fun. The team heads to Nashville for their next test. They tip off against Vanderbilt on Sunday. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes honored Arkansas State head coach Blake Anderson today with the Grant Teef Award. It's given to a football coach who's ex who exemplifies Christian principles. It's also based off team performance. Anderson overcame a lot of adversity in 2019 alongside his Red Wolves. After months of fighting stage four triple negative breast cancer, his wife Wendy passed away in August. Facing tragedy, he returned to the team only to pull off an 8-5 season, capped off by a Camellia Bowl win. The FCA says Anderson has touched the lives of innumerable young athletes as he glorifies God through the game of football. Just for me, it was just um, big just to, to be able to be a part of something that um, transcends, I think, sport, it transcends football. It's kind of hard to really even imagine what it all meant to this point, but... Um, as tough as it's been, uh, I think it took every step along the way for us to really come together and, and get to this point. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the guys. The final game of the college football season is going on as we speak. One seed LSU takes on three seed Clemson for a national title in New Orleans. It's the Battle of Tigers, both of which calling Death Valley home. Let's check the score. LSU leads 28-17 after half. Clemson quarterback and Heisman winner Joe Burrow has thrown for three scores and rushed for another. He totaled over 300 yards in the first half alone. Clemson ran a pair of scores in, one by QB Trevor Lawrence, offensive MVP of last year's title game. The third quarter kicks off right now. You can see the end of this one on ESPN. And it's sure going to be a really fun one to watch there. Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow going at it. It's going to be fun. So we're going to be tossing a break now. Coming up after the break, news and weather.